Hey everyone, welcome back to Joyful Habits, where we daydream and add a touch of whimsy to the ordinary. Today I wanted to share with you my Thanksgiving tablescape. I'm definitely a note taker, list maker, so if I'll be hosting Thanksgiving, the first thing I do is grab a piece of paper and a pen and just start writing. A guest list, a grocery list, what the menu will be, uh, things I think I might want to get or to find or to make or to use for my Thanksgiving tablescape or decor, or really just any ideas to add a nice ambiance for uh, the family. So when getting ready to make my tablescape, the first thing I do is just go around my house and find anything uh, that I could use. And I lay it all out on the table so I can really see what I have to work with and start to brainstorm. I really like to look for tablecloths at thrift stores or consignment shops, and I've collected quite a few over the years. I have a few fall ones that are very colorful, but I decided this time to go with this very um, simple cream one with lace trimming. The idea was that if I use sort of a blank slate that any colors I used on top of this tablecloth would really stand out. So I started by adding this garland down the middle of the table as a runner. Um, it's very pretty but it kind of reminded me a little too much of summer and spring. It's very green and bright. So then I started to look for things I could add to it to sort of make it a little more colorful and remind me more of Thanksgiving and autumn. So I found some florals and some pine cones and little acorns. I decided to go with a nice deep mustard yellow or gold and brown tones and colors for my theme. And then I just started to place them within the garland. There was really no rhyme or reason to this, just sort of playing around with it until I liked what I saw. And this is how it looks so far. So as this was sort of coming together, I decided I really wanted to use these felt pumpkins. I really liked that they matched the gold and brown tones that I was going for and just brought a really nice warm texture with the felt. I found these at the Target dollar spot. Uh, they were on sale actually, so I got them for 50 cents a piece. I went a little crazy and grabbed as many as I could. So I only have four of the larger ones, two of the mustard yellow, two of the brown. So I placed those first as anchors. And then I started placing the smaller ones in between the larger ones. Again, no rhyme or reason, just sort of playing around. I was going for a very put together disheveled look. So at this point I was really happy with how it's coming together, but I decided it needed some sort of centerpiece. So I decided to use this little wooden cake stand, and I put a candle holder on top, and then I decided to add this little wreath to make it look more full. And now I wanted to add those pine cones and continue to fill in the garland. <laughs> and I'm just realizing now that I unintentionally wore a sweater that fit uh, my tablescape color scheme.
I found these two brass candlestick holders uh, at a yard sale recently for 50 cents a piece, so I was really excited about that. And I decided to add them on either side of the centerpiece to sort of anchor it out a little more and add some height. I have these felt pieces left over from a craft project I was recently working on. I was excited when I realized that they matched what I was going for perfectly with the mustard yellow and the brown and the felt which matched the felt pumpkins, so I decided to use them as placemats. Next I'm adding these amber glasses. I recently found a whole set of these on Etsy actually. If you're ever looking for something very specific that's an antique or older dishes, Etsy is a great place to look. Now I'm just putting out the plates. I put a larger plate and a smaller plate on top. So I then decided to add these napkins um, on top of the plates just to add some more warmth, some more texture. So the craft project that I mentioned earlier that I was using the felt for uh, were these felt leaves. I was cutting out different leaf shapes and then I was embroidering them. So I decided to use the brown and the mustard yellow felt leaves that match the placemats um, and to put them on top of the napkins. I'm really excited at this point at how unintentionally well this is all coordinated and coming together. These are the other amber dishes that I got with the set. Um, I think they're called sherbet dishes, little ice cream dishes. If you know the official name, let me know. So I decided to add these to the tablescape as well. At some point these dishes will be filled with our dessert, but for now I wanted to add something just to break it up from the other amber glass on the other side of the plate. Um, so I decided to take some of the extra felt pumpkins I had, the white ones, and put them in the sherbet dishes. for the final reveal.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration and maybe got you a little more excited for Thanksgiving. We hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you very soon in our next video. And until then, keep smiling.